iron in the soul. Trainer gets caught on camera being a pervert. And when I stand up for myself, he threatens to call the police and revoke my membership. What's up, YouTube? This is Iron in the Soul. Back today with another video. Please subscribe to my channel. Like, share, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about my content. Let's do some work. Let's talk about this video that is going viral online. It's being circulated on social media of a female at the gym who accused a black man of being a pervert. Well, when you watch the video, it's clear that that's not at all what's going on. And so here was a woman who came to the gym with the intention of starting trife, being malicious. And I noticed this just even myself, I'm in the gym regularly. I go to the gym at least four to five times a week. And I, I, I observe, there is, you know, obviously there are different types of women. You have women who are there, you can tell just to work out. It's just that simple, they're just in their zone trying to stay fit and they have every right to do that so i can talk about this because i'm in the gym all the time and you have women who are there like clearly looking for attention and you have those who have this malicious evil disposition so let me make this clear every woman in the gym does fit into the same category and then you got some guys you know to be honest there's some guys who are stalkers <laughs> who are there you know what i mean giving off a creep vibe making women uncomfortable that happens too. So in all fairness, you have all types of people who go work out. There's all types of energy and pheromones, both from the feminine as well as the masculine energy when you are in an environment like a gym, working out, trying to get your body in order. So all that's going on. And so it's important for us as men to be observant and to read the energy very quickly and wisely. There are women that you can have a brief conversation with if need be, and you keep it moving. There are women who are there looking for attention that you need to avoid. And so here was an example of that, of, of a woman who was clearly looking for some strife. She's accusing this man of looking at her, which is just honestly just stupid because he's over there working out, training someone. He worked at the gym. This is his job. And in order for her to even make this accusation, she had to be looking at him in the first place. So she's watching him to see if he is watching her. And he, he happened to look up for a brief second because it was kind of awkward anyway to just go stand in front of a mirror and take your shirt off. That's awkward. I mean, what are you doing? And he made a brief eye contact with it. It wasn't like he was trying to look at it. He just like anybody you see, if, if any human, if a person's close to you, you're trying to discern who's around me. It's just common sense. And she makes this something that is not. And part of the reason for this, which you may need to understand, this is one of the negative impacts that social media has had upon women. You have women who are online, who get attention from men every day, hundreds of likes, thousands of likes, all these comments, all these guys simping in the comments section, saying all this weird stuff, acting like they're just obsessed with women and they can't even think for themselves. So they're getting that type of energy all day online. They're also watching other women get all the energy. They're watching women make money on OnlyFans. They're watching women make money with their accounts and their pictures and everything else. And so there is a jealousy there that you need to understand that female jealousy that some of them have with each other, right? That's just the way to go. And so they're seeing all these women get all this attention. And so now in their mind, I should be getting the same attention too. And when they don't get that, sometimes it turns into a false accusation. That's exactly what happened with Joseph in the Old Testament in the Bible. Potiphar's wife, a wealthy woman, Wanted the attention of the young, muscular Hebrew, which is what Joseph was. A young, Hebrew, strong, good-looking young man. 
And she craved that attention. She wanted him sexually. He didn't want that. So what did she do? She lied. She had him thrown in prison. So you guys need to be careful out here. And, and, and this is just, it's sad on so many levels because what it does is, you know, number one, this makes it bad for women who actually are being sexually abused or being sexually harassed. That happens too, by the way. There are guys out there who are perverts, okay? So this makes it bad for women who are actually going through this because when they say something, now people think that they're lying. This makes it bad for a good woman who may just want to have a basic conversation with a man at the gym. And so now as men, we're suspicious now because of hearing these stories. And so a woman like this makes it bad for everybody. You make it bad for women who are being abused. You make it bad for women who are not even on the type of time, who are just trying to mind their business and work out and enjoy the company of a man. So you are aiding the breakdown of the relationships between men and women. And, and you got to be naive to not see this is being pushed. This is not by mistake. This seems to be a clear agenda to me to create more of a distrust, a separation and a hatred between men and women. It's not good for society. It's not. So though this is a very basic story, it's not really basic because it's continued to feed this narrative that men should not trust women and women should not trust men. And if you have men not trusting women, come on, and women not trusting men, what does that lead to long term? I think you know the answer to that question. So those are just a few of my thoughts. This is your brother, Iron and So. Take care. Be blessed. Peace.